Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, it's Alex. It's the Ramble, and we're here until midnight tonight on the East Coast of the United States of America. Look at that. That's uh, Steve Kravitz. Stephen Kravitz, if we want to be really particular about it. Stephen That's Kravitz. Right. Yeah. There is an end. Yeah, and and uh, better than that, he's got COVID hair. It looks like. What do you mean? No, no, no. I just got out of the shower. No, but also it looks like COVID hair because it looks like you haven't been able to cut it in a while. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, I, I haven't. I got myself one of those clipper things. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, when this whole thing started, we sent away to Amazon and got the clippers. Okay. And the clippers work pretty good. You know, I mean, for me, they wouldn't work good for you, but for me... Yeah, what do I have to do? You know, I'm getting right, 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 right. I'm, I'm right. going to get a haircut today. We're going to do it, and it just you know, but uh, with you, you could use the clippers, but it would take a little more finessing because you still have a, a non-Jewish head of hair. I have a full head of hair. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to lose it? What kind of I'm Jew are to, you? I'm supposed to at least get the yarmulke in the back. Hmm. Well, I, did you ever get the feeling the yarmulke was really not created to not bear your head to God? Okay. But to cover your bald but spot. But to cover your bald spot, exactly, because it fits right over a bald spot. It's perfect. You know. Why do you think the Pope wears one? <laughs> Is he wearing a yarmulke? They, call, they don't call it a yarmulke, though. What no, the Pope I, mean, I don't wears. know what they call it. I think they call it a beanie, something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So how's it going up there? We got a lot of snow the other day. We got a lot of snow down here. You got a lot of if we got a lot of snow down here, you got a heck of a lot of snow snow up there. Like sixteen inches. Yeah, oh, God. I don't know how much we got. I think we got maybe ten in Central Park or something. You know. Yeah, but it goes away quick in New York City. Well, today it's forty degrees, so we're our whole window sills, you know, we're like filled up with snow, right? Really? It's now gone. You know, it's all melted away. Really? Uh, that quickly? Well, when you hit 40 degrees, you start melting, you know. Right, right, right. Sure. Uh, it's nice if you had a nice sunny day. It would melt all at once, and you could then get back to normal. But then again, we have another storm coming this weekend. So. Yeah, but that's just supposed yeah. to be flurries and rain. Now, mind you, folks, this was done about a week ago, this interview. So right. it, it, all the weather is just fine now. We think. We think. We hope. We pray. Uh, but uh, I, 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 let me ask you this, because you're, you're from the east. Okay, right. And then you moved west. Right. What do you prefer, snow or no snow? Jump ball. To be honest with you, jump ball. Because I used to tour up in Canada all the time, and I'd only go up in the winter. Because mm -hmm. I miss the winter. But when I would go on tour, I'd go up for a finite period of time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I, I knew winter was going to be over in six weeks. Yeah. Plus, I didn't have to shovel. You know, I didn't have to worry about anything. I'd just get in the cab and go to the club and then get in the cab and go home. And you enjoy it for the novelty. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. It, well, in California, I, I've been told by people, I, like, I was born in California. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is odd for me to see snow. I never saw snow. I told, told Marjorie this. I never saw snow, I think, till I was, like, maybe, well, until my parents took me up to, uh, up to Lake Tahoe. Really? And I never saw snow. And it never, it only snowed once, I think, in the whole time I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area, in San Francisco. It was it was snowing at the beach. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. So, but, I mean, we never got snow. So I was never a snowbird, and I was never used to snow, right? You know? Right. And uh, uh, consequently, I was, you know, 
um, uh, uh, just uh, always used to the sun and, and so forth. But people would come out from the East Coast during, especially during the holiday season, would go Christmas without snow. Right, right. I right, don't know right, if right. I can take it. You know, so that you know, I, it, it's um, uh, it, it's weird. It's weird when you when you live in one kind of region and then you go to another. Like you came from here and went to San Francisco. I right. came from San Francisco and came here. Okay. You know, and the first, first time I hit a snowstorm, oh, it was all. And what's wonderful about a snowstorm, okay, is that when it first had you first have that snowstorm and just a ton of it is dumped on the ground, right. you have a certain soundproofing. Yes. Do you notice that? It's like yes. you, you, you could clap your hand and you would not hear it reverberate. Right, right, and, right, and right, it's right, just sure. it's just wonderful. You look out there, it's all white and it's it's soundproof and there are no cars on the street because they don't want to be there and it's wonderful. Right. The next day it turned especially in the city, it turns gray. Oh, all, all the exhaust fumes hit it and all the splashing hits it and then it gets really messy and then when it starts melting it even gets messier. Oh yeah. But if, oh, yeah. but if it stayed nice for a while, that's why I'd like to live in the country and have it snow, because then you it doesn't get mushy and, you know. Right, I know what you're saying. It doesn't yeah. get gross. Yeah. But uh, I've I've always liked uh, cold weather better than warm weather. weather. Really? Yes, yes. I don't mind the cold weather. I don't, really don't mind the cold weather, but I, I'm kind of a, done with the snow. Well, people say to me, like, you know, what do you prefer? And I said that the reason I, I, I prefer, when I was living in the Bay Area, I preferred the mountains to the, sh right. the, to the seashore. Right. In other words, well, come summer, I would rather go to the mountains than go to right, the right, seashore. Right, 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 right. Because sun, hey. <laughs> Not a sun worshiper, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. And then I moved to New York. You know, San Francisco, as you may remember, the great thing about San Francisco is it's the world's only air-conditioned city. Yes. I mean, yes. even if you have somewhat of a hot day during the day, the fog rolls in at night and just cools the whole city off. Right. It's a very temperate city. Yes. And so I grew up in that temperature. So I'm right. used to that kind of it it's a mo it's a moderate temperature temperature never very rarely ever went above 90 during the summer oh and yes and very rarely went below 50 maybe 45 in the winter right it gets it gets cold in the winter there it gets a raw cold you know what it gets it's a moist cold right because raw with the cold, bay area with the bay area well you have the fog in the bay area right which i think is romantic Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Well, there's nothing more romantic than having a woman with you and walking down the streets in San Francisco and hearing a foghorn in the dif distance and the fog is kind of rolling in on the streets. Oh. All right. I'm with you on that. Come on. If that doesn't get you laid, nothing will. <laughs> a gram and a, and a half pint. Yeah, well, uh, I didn't get laid because nothing did. Anyway, so. Good anyway. night. Good night, folks. I'll be here all week. So, Enjoy the meal. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, I always ask everybody where they are. The only the only conversation you can have these days, right now, how's right. everything with the COVID where you are? Right. And, you know, I wish I, wish I had something exciting to tell you, that yeah. I did something this week that lit up the sky. But the thing is, it's Groundhog's Day. It's the same day over and over again, if, except I'm not if learning you, anything. If you can remember what that day is, do you have times when you start forgetting what day of the week it is? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Just this total loss of, of, of perspective on what, what day it is. I have lost days. That is correct. Yeah. Um, uh, I I just find it's it's really weird. It's really strange. You know, there's the whole... The whole thing. I mean, I um, uh, just feel that I, I've lost. I, here's what I felt I've lost at my age, 81. Okay. How many years do I have left? Eh, 
Maybe I have one, maybe I have 20. I don't right. know, you know, right, right, but, right. but I do know that there are less years, days ahead of me than there are behind me. Yeah, me too. You too. So what would I like to do with my old age? Well, do you know where I'd like to be right now? I'd like to go to Europe, but I can't. I'd like right. to go, I'd like to go down to the bottom of Manhattan and I really can't. Really? Well, no, because I can't really travel. I mean, I don't want to go out there and be exposed. You know? I mean, there's Didn't always... Didn't you get a shot? Didn't you get your first shot? I got my first shot, but I didn't get my second shot. You know? When's that happen? Uh, the, the 27th. I, it's five and a half weeks from the time I got my first shot. The only thing they say about the Moderna shot, which I got, is that after about three weeks, it's 80% effective. Really? Yeah. Whereas the uh, Pfizer is only 52% effective. But then you can get the second shot after about three weeks. And I right. should get it after four weeks, but they didn't have any appointments available. I mean, this city is so fucked. And then today they send me uh, a thing where they completely revamp the whole system. And here's your new this and your new that. And here's where you go for this. And please, please print out this form to bring with you. You know, and I think about... I think about old people out there. I mean, some of them maybe even have a little of dementia or uh, right, right, you know, right, whatever, right. who are having to go through this gauntless uh, gauntlets of forms that we have to fill out. Right, right. You know, just send me a goddamn barcode, tell me show up on a certain date, and that's it. You know, not another form asking me what race I am and what, you know. Right, right, right. And how tall I am and what's my date of birth. Yeah, yeah. I've already done that. I don't have to do that again. But, no, I had to do it again. And they oh, sent yeah, me. They sent me. In, get, they sent me. When in, you get your follow-up shot, you'll have to do it again. No, I'm going to get the follow-up shot. Yeah, already, but you'll yeah. have to fill out all the, there'll be paperwork for that too. No, won't I don't there? Th I don't think there is. Once I got there last time there wasn't any paperwork. I just hand them the, my First of all, they make you send you a QR code, you know one of those square codes with all the little yeah, dots in it. And they send it to you and they say be sure to bring this with you. Bring it along with your ID. You know, the ID number for your appointment. Right. So, so okay, I do that. I mean, that's 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 fun and that's wonderful. I get there, I hand him the QR code. He said, "I got nothing to read this with." <laughs> What's your number? <laughs> What's your number? And on the thing, it specifically says, "Bring this QR code." You know, you sure. may be delayed if you don't have the QR. What? You know. Well, how long did you have to wait? Two hours. Really? Yes. With an appointment. Yes. Oh, they said they time. said we got started late today, and there was a line around the block. That would have pissed me off. I was really pissed off. A woman walked by. I said, uh, how long is it going to be? She says, I don't know, from here, about another hour. And I said, oh, good. I said, what are the chances I'm going to get pneumonia before I get COVID? <laughs> what would she say? Uh, she just looked at me and gave me a dirty look and moved on. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I mean, it was just... Yeah, plus, I mean, all I'm arguing is that these are old people. These are right. old people. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Why are you subjecting it to this? And then they, they specifically say, show up no more than five minutes before your appointment. Otherwise, we won't let you in, you know, until it's five minutes before your appointment. Well, right. I was there five minutes before my appointment, which was a good two hours before I, they finally let me in. So what, what good does any of it do? So yeah. are you standing outside freezing? Um, I actually had to go home, which is a block and a half down the street, came home and got my heavier jacket and went back. You know, and Marjorie had only moved about five feet. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, it, was, it, was, it was insane. But I mean, um, uh, you, uh, you're 65, aren't you? 64. Oh, so you can't get the shot yet. I'll be 65 next month. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Farmer drug addict, that's a comorbidity. Uh, they see, if you're a smoker, you can go to the front of the line. This is, is that true. Right? This is true. You can go to the front of the line. That's considered a comorbidity, and you fit into the group of people who can get, them, get themselves a shot. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, 
bad behavior gets you to the front of the line. As it should. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's insane. It's just insane. But I've talked about this so much on this program, but it's the only thing to talk about. Trump's right. gone. There's nothing to talk about there. Right, 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 right. You right. Know, I mean, there is something to talk about there, but quite frankly, I don't even want to think about him. Out of sight, out of mind. Well, the thing I felt was that I, I had a, a um, I just felt uh, that that I, I was abused by him. It's like my f a father who abused me, or somebody right. who abused me, and he abused me so long that now that he's gone, I don't want to see him again because it gives me the jitters. Right. No, I get yeah. you. And that's why I really am. I don't know if I'm all for a, for an impeachment, uh, you know, the uh, trial. Because it's just going to bring it all up again. His face is going to be in the news. I'm going to have to keep seeing that ugly mug of his, you know. Just let him go. He Don't worry. The, the attorney of uh, the Southern District of New York is going to get him good. So. Is that right? <coughs> oh, God boy. bless you. Yeah. yeah. God bless yeah. you. Here's, yeah. Yeah. That's an allergy sneeze. Thank you. There's something in this house. I think it's mold. Get mold? Mold. Hey, I just noticed. We ran what? over on time. All right. We should just keep going. Screw everybody else. We'll just do this for the next <laughs> Do this for the next couple hours. So well, what do you got anything you're gonna be doing at all? See, that's Sailing. what it is. Why am I even doing a show anymore? Because yeah. it's what you do. No, we just go on every night and we muddle around and try and find something to talk about. And there's nothing to talk about. You know? Somebody do something bad, will you? By the way. No, I don't say that. Do something good. Let me just tell you this. I saw a, just well, I got finished watching a British documentary on the Capitol uh, attacks. A storming. The storming of the Capitol. It was better than anything I've ever seen done here, because they're right. Br they're British and they look at it as something that's happening there. Right. So they look yeah. at it from a very uh, distant perspective. Oh, excuse me, folks. My nose is just. <laughs> I sneeze and then my nose drips. I, it, don't I look like an old man? No. With the with the tissue and that. Of course, I've always had a tissue in my hand. Right. Uh, 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 no, uh, what was I saying? Where was I? Oh, yeah, about, uh, I forgot where I was. I forgot where you were, too. Yeah, see, that's us getting old. Well, anyway, hey, listen, uh, I'll let you go. I know you have things to do. <laughs> you know. Yeah, like take, take a nap. You know, I mean, we, we, as I say, we talk about stuff at night, and it's just nothing. It's piffle now. Right. No, no yelling. Like no. I said, I wish I had something exciting to tell you. Yeah, we have nothing. But I don't. Tell. So why am I still doing a show every night? That's what. Because why question. not? You know, we just get, get we get just say happy things to each other, and then the two hour hour and a half is over with, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, you have yourself a nice uh, week or so. Or yeah, you too. And I'll see you uh, here next week. But okay. you and I'll do it in a couple of weeks. But anyway, stay there, and I'll talk to you. Okay. And that's uh, that's uh, Steve Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. I just like talking to him. You know, it's a it's a it's a good way to pass the time of day. Certainly yeah. better than talking about current events. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. See you later. is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, everything goes wrong. Okay. I, it, I, that went shorter than I thought it was going to go. Oh, no. No, it was fine. Well, well, anyway. Hi, how are you? Good to see you here. Glad you could join us tonight. Uh, this is uh, the uh, Ramble. And uh, we go until uh, midnight. Gee, I just, I'm glad I ran in here on time. Now I'm looking at the screen over here. 
And I'm seeing that I was blank for a while there. Okay. Anyway, hi. Hi. How you doing? Uh, what's up? By the way, we may look a little better tonight, actually, uh, because we have, uh, I have uh, started sending this across, I think, in 4K or something close to 4K. So um, see how much prettier I am? I'm just prettier than I've ever been. I'm gorgeous. Anyway, I'm, I'm looking at the picture over here. Oh, it looks really good. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Son of a bitch. Well, I made all these improvements today, and I was, I'm waiting for everything that can possibly go wrong uh, to go wrong. But anyway, uh, let me see here. I think it maybe is time for us to go over to our Zoom panel and uh, see uh, see the people that are coming into our Zoom panel here. Let's see, see who have we got. Ah, there we go. And all that looks good, too. This was all stuff that I did today to make it look better. So, uh, and you all, so you all look much more gorgeous than you ever have before. <laughs> yes, do that, Robert. It makes you look so much better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hello there, Robert Natali. Hello there to Alan. Hello there to Charlie Wallace or Charles Wallace, or Mr. Wallace, or <laughs> Wally and the Beaver, I don't know. And Trucker Steve and Sidekick Rocky, and Rocky's probably passed out and right behind. Oh, no, look, Rocky's awake tonight. Oh, okay, all right, Rocky's awake. Anyway, so I'm, uh, I'm saying hello to all of you, and uh, gee, it uh, looks cleaner and better, yeah, than it, uh, than it has before in the past. All right, anyway. Uh, let me see here. Where do we begin? First of all, let's go to Dr. Doom. Okay. Dr. Doom, well, yeah. give us the uh, death report here yeah. for COVID. We lost another 4,037 Americans today. Really? Wow. And how's, Cal yeah. how's California doing compared to New York? California blew past New York. It's over 300 deaths ahead of New York now. Wow. <laughs> And we we got a we're <laughs> lagging behind. We had a great head start on you guys. Where do we begin? First of all, it's going to die. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Now now, now, now I think. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, I've got him. Uh, 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 Jeff, your audio is up. How's California doing? That? There you go. Okay. Well, now you now you uh, uh, muted yourself. You muted yourself. Huh? What? California is doing a lot better than Texas. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, California is number one now. Not anymore. Oh, yes, it uh, is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it just passed New York today. It has the most deaths <laughs> of any state in the United States. You're yeah, number one. You're number one. Eighty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're the Texas is just over forty thousand. Yep. That's right. Yep. So, uh, what's what's the count out in California? Do you know exactly? Forty five thousand seven hundred eighty seven. And New York is what forty three something, right? Wait a minute. Forty seven, forty five thousand three hundred and. Oh, okay. Whoa, fifty three. Now you you got to remember that maybe ninety percent, maybe more of those deaths were during the first three months yeah. of COVID in New York City. Because we just got hit it with a double yeah. whammy, you know, because we didn't see it coming. Uh, but uh, yeah, New York it, hit forty thousand in May. I mean, those were the days, especially when I wouldn't go out at all. Although I don't think I've been out for a week now. Uh, you know, I can hardly wait. I think when, when when New York hit forty thousand, I think we had like three hundred and fifty deaths in Texas. Really? Uh, I, uh, what what's his name? Uh, uh, Phil sends me a picture of his card stating that he has now had his second COVID shot. You know, the little card they give you. I don't know why they give you that shot, you know. And I, yeah, that's basically what I did to him, too. I said, Dang. <laughs> you know. You guys are just jealous. What are, what are those yes. cards What are those cards for? I mean, do you get when you the, get them all, do you get like a free coffee at Dunkin' Donuts or something? I, maybe. In New York, maybe. Yeah. I mean, what's the reason for it? I think they're going to need it to fly. No, I don't think so. It, 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 it's Eventually. A, it is a CDC, yeah. another bureaucracy thing to 
kind of tell you that you got your first vaccination and where and what, mm -hmm. and then the second one shows up, but it tells you it, it it's a piece of paper. You flip it over and it says, here's your second donation, um, your donation, uh, your vaccination. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of a reminder. And then when you get them both, which I have, I don't know what you do with the damn thing. I took a picture of it with my phone. Who cares? Yeah. Right. You no, know, it, yeah. it may be. You may need it to get on airplanes or... No, I don't think so. I think at that point, they're going to issue you like a, uh, uh, something for flying, you know, what they call a, uh, a vaccination passport or something like something. that. Something, yeah. yeah. They'll come up with something. Um, yes. It's uh, too, too easy to copy these things. Uh, are you, uh, have you figured it out yet? You, you're still muted. You're muted, uh, Jeff. You're muted. Uh, but... You know, you were having our audio from our show coming through. Now, mm -hmm. now talk. There you go. Now, how's yeah. that? Uh, you're fine. Good. Okay. okay. You're fine. Hello, Kevin. I'm there to well, get my, uh, huh? my real computer back from Apple. Your what back from Apple? My Apple computer. Oh, got your, your Apple computer. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Got smashed. Boy, this picture looks gorgeous tonight. Boy, oh boy, we I, I all of a sudden I learned how to go 4K or go, you, go. yeah, get up there. Uh, and I didn't do minutes tonight, but I have a quote that I think would. Well, be wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't take minutes last night? No, no, no. Well, there well, was, what there kind was of a secretary, I, uh, uh, recording <laughs> secretary, are you for crying out loud? Okay, fuck you. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quit. You're fired. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, for what for what I'm getting paid, get bubbles to be funny. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, he, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let me read this quote because I think this is interesting. Yeah. This was from a speech that was given in the year 2008, mm -hmm. and there are excerpts from that speech. One of which is quote. Yeah. When a president puts his interests above those of the American people, mm -hmm. that is what a high crime and misdemeanor is. Later in the speech, he said, quote, mm -hmm. abuse of public trust by violating an oath of office is alone an impeachable offense. That was stated in a speech in 2008 by a little known congressman from Indiana named Mike Pence. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Hmm. When did he say that? He said in what? In, 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 oh, wait. Huh? 2008. Yeah, 2008. 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, well, Pence was on the wanted list, so we get to feel sorry for him now. Yeah. You know. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, it, 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 uh, did you see him running down the hall to get away from everything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was hauling ass. Yeah. Well, they were they were serious. I think if what I think if Pelosi or Pence had been seen, they'd be dead right now. Oh yeah. Yes. You know. Um, and um, how how these pricks in Congress can turn around after what they said today and the the case they made today, and say, oh no, uh, we're not going to vote to uh, uh, to find him guilty. It, 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 they made such an immutable case that there's nothing that can possibly be argued. Well, we haven't heard the other side yet, have we? Yeah, you know I'm what? You hear much. You know what the no. other side's going to be? It's going to be about two hours, and that's it. They're just yeah. going to get. And it's up there. all going to be summertime riot stuff. Yeah, yeah, which has nothing to do with this. Nope. No. Yeah. Uh, but and it's going to uh, be quotes from two or three years ago. It's going to be Maxine Waters screaming and yelling. It's going to be, you know, the old, the old shit. And, you know, yeah, look, look what they did. Yeah. Neener, yeah. neener. Yeah. Neener, 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 neener. Yeah. Well, they there tried this senator today yeah. who actually said there's nothing that shows that this was done on behalf of Donald Trump. And I thought, Oh, the fucking flags and the fucking hats weren't a clue enough for you. Shit. It, it looked like it looked like a sale for for uh, Trump merch. You know, I mean, it was just. And where where do they get all those flags? Who, At the thought, Trump store. Is Trump. It, oh, one of the most effective things was who was the late the the 
the representative um, De, degree to De, Gary, the lady that came up second, I think it was. Yeah. And, and that the end when she said who, who brought them, brought, brought all these people here and they, you know, they, they showed that last clip Yeah, and it was, you know, the, uh, the you know, they screwed, the guy was screaming, the president of the United States invited us. God damn it. The president yeah. of the United States yeah. brought us. Yeah. And she closes up her binder and walks off, mm. drop the mic. And it was silent for five, you know, five minutes until Raskin started yeah. saying anything again. Well, and I thought, damn she just did it here's something else you know these guys are on people are on trial They're, they've been charged with what they did at the uh, at the capitol and what they're using as their defense is the president told me to do it mm -hmm. about six of them are using that as their defense well if that was the impression given to them then it was maybe an irresponsible act on the part of the pres president that gave them that impression, and in which case he still should be found guilty. And right. I thought the last thing the guy said today was was the end all, and that was uh, uh, if we don't find him guilty now, he will do it again. Yep. And I yep. thought that was you know when I first saw Negasi. I think that's how you say his name, Negasi, the black guy. Mm -hmm. Goose. I first saw him come on mm -hmm. and in, in the first day of uh, testifying or his opening arguments. Mm -hmm. I said, I hope they close with that guy because he's good. Yeah, yeah. Raskin's been doing a nice mm -hmm. job, too. Raskin's been impressive. You know, uh, but, I mean, the, the case they made is a good case, but... I, you know, I, it, it just, I, I don't know how any of those guys can walk out of that place and not prosecute. I don't understand how they can, with a conscious, walk out of that place and not prosecute. You know what it. they're going to use as their excuse? Well, we, I don't believe we can find a sitting, uh, a former president guilty. Yeah. Bullshit. They're going to, but they're going to use that as their excuse that they're, That's it, it says in the Constitution we can't do this. It says in the Constitution you can. I know. But that's the trouble with the Constitution. Read the Constitution. The, con the trouble with the Constitution is it's like the fucking I Ching. You know, it's a bunch of statements, and then you can take out of it what you want. That's right. <laughs> you know? I thought that's the right. most yeah. effective thing that I heard today was from Ted Lieu, who said the Republicans are saying that we're afraid that Trump will come back and win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm not afraid that he's going to come back and win. I'm afraid he's going to come back and lose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. There's been yeah. a lot of good, good stuff. I mean, yeah, I find it riveting myself. Yeah, Me well, too. I mean, uh, and the footage and so on and so forth. I mean, I can't, I can't say I watched all of it today. We were too busy watching Gotham, but uh, which we've been binge watching. Uh, mm -hmm. But I mean, what I saw then later on in the news with all the clips and everything and the distillation of it was just, you know, I mean, how anybody can, you know, they're afraid they're going to go back. They're going to have to go back to their constituency who's primarily Republican, and they're going to have to say why they found him guilty. And they don't want to have to do that. And they should have to do that. They should have to, what they should have to do is why didn't you? I would, I would be interested to see how much their constituency would actually s give them hell for it. Right. You know? I, I would bet a lot of them would get I mean, help. some of them, some mm -hmm. of them I understand maybe in certain areas, yes, mm -hmm. but not the major group of them. I agree with you, Kevin. I think that a lot of them are overplaying that hand. Yeah. I really do think so. I, do, I think so, too, because this when... 52% of the country polled has said they think he should be convicted. So that's yeah. got to include people that were on the Republican side of the election yeah, as but, well. But, but you forget a lot, of the, a lot of these guys go back to the, um, uh, have to go back to their constituency, and their constituency is primarily Republican, okay, and thinks the other way. And they, they, uh, they're such whores, they're afraid of not getting reelected. You know, I'm sorry. If I was a congressman or a senator, 
I wouldn't have any fear about not getting reelected for voting my conscience because if I didn't get reelected, hey, I'll go back to running that used car lot I used to run or whatever, but I, at least I can go back there and feel not guilty about just whoring myself out in order to win another election. Well, that's an interesting point, too. I, I always think of this in terms of, wow, being a senator must be more lucrative and beneficial than the salary you get, mm -hmm. that people will blow the president mm -hmm. in order to stick around. You know, like it, it's got to well, be my worth my, Yeah, my question is, lot. yeah, my question well, is, <laughs> my question is why these guys go into Congress or into the Senate uh, paupers and come out millionaires. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen on a uh, what uh, seventy-five thousand dollar a year salary or something like that? I don't know. One hundred seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five. <laughs> you, you know, unless you save really good. You know, yeah, unless you we'll, save really we'll good. Insider betting. You know, in, in, whatever, insider, insider trading. Insider trading. That that's part of it. You sure. know. But I mean, I just, uh, I, I, I just think it's, it's terrible that anybody would listen to what they heard over the last three days. And on top of that, remember, every one of these people trying the case are also witnesses. Yes, you know? yes. And, and how they can walk away and say, nothing happened that was dangerous. What do you mean? You almost lost your goddamn lives if they had found you and they didn't follow you down into the uh, caverns of the, of the, of the Capitol. Uh, I'm sorry. You'd be dead right now. And you're going to say he wasn't guilty of anything? Yes. Oh, we have two hands up. First Alan, then Jeff. Okay. So I, I think, it, <clears throat> I, I hate to sound like Phil for a second here, but I think that the way you're thinking is the way you see things, Alex. Mm -hmm. Like, And I think we're all in the same boat with you. But I think that the people that are Republicans are thinking something different. I mean, somebody was interviewed on, on Fox News today that, that is in uh, Ted Cruz's neighborhood and said, the guy's a creep, but he's the best we have. And I thought, I, I hate Ted Cruz almost as much as I hated Trump. Yeah. But, but, you know, different people think differently. And I, I well, no, I look, I look, I understand that you're somebody's a Republican and they believe a certain way. And I'm right. a, a leftist and I believe another way. I understand that. And I respect that. Right. Okay. I mean, we have a guy who comes on the show, Patrick, he's a, he's a right winger and I respect him. I absolutely respect him. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with having a difference of opinion. I right. think when you have a difference of opinion, and the only reason why you're standing up for your guy is because you voted for him and you don't want to say you were wrong. Well, you know, we all make mistakes, you know, and if you voted for him and he turned out to be a total asshole who tried to overthrow the government of the United States of America and its processes, then I think you should be decent enough to say, you know, I was really wrong to vote for him. And I've got to watch myself next time. You know? That's all. Yeah. I slapped my hand for voting for Trump. Yeah, exactly. You voted for Trump, right? Yeah. Back in time. But, but, yep. you're, but you're not sitting here on this panel defending him because no, no, you no. voted for him. He turned into a, a, a blooming idiot afterwards. <laughs> and I'm sorry I wasted my vote. In California, it doesn't make much difference. Doesn't make make much difference here but in New York. Still, I could I could you know I could have voted for uh, I don't know the garbage man, and that's right, it wouldn't same. matter. You know, although if enough of us did it, the garbage man would be president of the United States now. Yeah, well, that's what the Republicans in California say too. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, happening? What's that? What? Yeah, I yeah, Jeff. Think that a lot of the Republicans are not even looking at all those videos. They're not even, they're not even. A no, uh, Ted Cruz was writing or something. And, and uh, what's his name? The, the guy with the funny hair. Um, uh, yeah. Ali. Yeah, who? Mitch McConnell. No, no. Yeah. Uh, but I don't Josh think they're Holly. all it, sitting there. No, not Holly. I'm talking about, what's his name from Kentucky? Ram Paul. He was writing. He was doing doodles yeah. on a piece yeah. of paper. 
you know, and not watching the the video. They made up them were gone today. They, they were not going to convict them. Have been watching TV. Here's Rubio's, uh, mm -hmm. Rubio got scored his highest uh, score ever on uh, Candy Crush. <laughs> Candy Crush, <laughs> kids game, right? <laughs> yes. He was playing Candy Crush during Fox News Channel. Cut off an impeachment manager in mid-sentence on Wednesday as he was presenting dramatic video footage of the mob attacking the U.S. Capitol last month and government leaders running for safety. The political math doesn't add up, Fox's Jesse Waters said. Democrats don't have the votes, yet they're still pressing ahead. The incident was a dramatic illustration of the tightrope walk by programmers at television networks. Uh, they then went to a show they have on called The Five. Yep. Uh, in That's which, not. who's the guy on there? The the guy who's on the left on that show. Uh, Gottlieb, oh, Juan. Uh, uh, Juan, Juan, Juan yeah. uh, whatever. Juan something, right? Yeah. yeah. Juan, yeah. two, three, four, whatever his name is. Yeah. Um, um, uh, he uh, suddenly came on and said, hey, I, you know, what you just did was terrible taking that off. This is some compelling testimony. It should be seen by the American public. And they yeah. shut him up. Yep. They mm -hmm. shut him up. Yeah. I mean, Fox doesn't know. One minute they're firing Lou Dobbs because he's too far to the right. And then they're shutting up Juan, what's his name, because he wants to say, hey, why don't we go back to the hearings and see what's going on? Because this is some pretty compelling video. I mean, it's Waters, just. Waters is a, he's an idiot. Who? <clears throat> Waters. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't watch them that much that I know who their hosts are. All I know well, is over at o, uh, over at uh, uh, what is it OAN, uh, they have so many women with nice tits on that channel. <laughs> it's amazing. There's this woman on about six o'clock every night, who's got a rack on her that won't stop. Who cares if she's Republican or Democrat? Yeah, I, I, you know, I I would fuck her just to demean her. Okay? okay, so you know, I mean. Uh, because anybody who would have sex with me would be demeaning themselves. So I figure, you know. Uh, but but that, I mean, that, have you seen the, have you seen these women on that channel? It's no. almost totally it's women anchors with big tits. Yeah. I mean, funny you would notice that, Alex. Funny, I would notice it. What do you mean? They have the, the prostate uh, uh, thing that I had last year, surgery that I had last year. Didn't take away all of my libido. Okay. okay. The other night you said you could jerk off in five seconds, so I, right. I can understand. <laughs> I think that's been clarified to five. Well, to I, the only reason I jerk oh. off in five seconds, I got things to do. Uh, okay, I've got uh, because a, any guy who's ever masturbated doesn't say I want to take forever doing this. No. <laughs> you know. You want to get it over with as fast as possible and get on with something else till you have to masturbate two hours later, you know? So, at, by the way, write morning. this down for the minutes for tomorrow yeah. night, okay? All right, all right. Yeah. Write those down. <laughs> What's that? Hit your there. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't do that. It'll make you go blind. All right, okay. Mom, I'll do it till I get nearsighted. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But I, I, don't, I just, you know, I, I don't understand what Fox is thinking. They don't know. They really don't know what their mission is anymore. <clears throat> they have Ted no idea. Cruz. Huh? Ted Cruz on Fox News, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, mm -hmm. said this is all going down as history, and history is not important. And I thought, boy, this guy just gets dumber by the moment. Yeah, history is you not know? important. Well, well, yeah. Well, 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 the scary part is he's not dumb at all. The scary really? part is he's a very highly educated guy, and so he's playing you. Well, you know, not like, all highly well, educated. Uh, 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 Charlie, you're from Ted Cruz country. Yeah, he's he's basically a whore, isn't he? I mean, yes. he doesn't do anything because he believes it. I mean, here yep. comes Trump calling his father a murderer, a yeah. murderer, and he winds up being his biggest pal and alakite. Acolyte, acolyte, acolyte. Did you see the stuff that Rubio and Cruz were t saying about Trump back during the, the 2016 campaign? Sure. Yeah, during the, the mm -hmm. primary. They yeah. were warning exactly what he's doing now. They were, you know, but, but you know, they fell in line and shut up as soon if as... Ted uh, Cruz said that about my father, once this thing started happening, I'd be on the front line ready to find him guilty. 
and his yeah. wife. He he, he made yeah. comments about his wife. Yes, yes. I mean, that's fighting words. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, uh, was wasn't a cruise that said, "If Trump gets near me, I'm going to hit him." I mean, yeah. he was that yeah. mad yeah. about it. I would pay to see that. How does he go yeah, from? Yeah, so would I. Yeah. How does he go from that to now? Yep. That I don't understand. You got to be a real whore in order to do that. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Robert, you pay, and I'll supply him with a nightstick. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we you have got all guns, from what I, from what I gather. Yeah. Yes, a couple. Um, uh, 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 let's see here. Uh, St uh, uh, Trucker Steve, you've been uh, quiet tonight. Anything you want to say about it? Did you, you couldn't watch any of these things, but you might have been able to hear it today. Uh, I didn't watch much of it. Uh, I was. Oh, boy. Busy driving. Oh, okay. Uh, in British Columbia. How about, how about uh, Rocky? Does he have anything to say about it? Wolf. No. Wolf. Yeah. Oh. Two wolves. Sick them, Two wolves. Two wolves. Uh, I had to go through minus 50 weather out in the prairies to sleep. Oh. 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 Did you see wow. that? Did you see that pile up in Fort Worth, Texas? Oh, yeah. Two? Bars. No, was 100? I thought it was 200. <laughs> well, it, it might be 200 by now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Saying 100 right. several hours ago. I mean, just cars just. One with Texans can't drive. What'd you say, Steve? 20 cars just uh, a few miles from here where I'm sitting in a truck stop. Wow. On the Coca Cola the highway to help. Well, don't people know how to drive in this kind of weather? We never or... get ice like this. So not in Texas. Oh, you mean they're not used to it in that part of the country? No, we don't know how to drive on ice. <laughs> oh, I thought. I mean, I'm trying to remember. Did we ever get ice when I lived in Houston, Texas? No, Texas we, is flat. No, Alex. We, no, we just went out for ice. That's all. You know, um, if you if you really have good tires, you even have studs that'll get through. Well, the when I moved to Minneapolis, I bought yeah, studded yeah, snow tires. tires. But in a lot of states, studded snow tires are not allowed. Yeah, because they tear up the roads. Road. Yeah, they tear up the roads. But in many Minnesota, they let us do it. Uh, and um, I always hated chains. I kind of, you know, it's it's the same as having to wear a condom. You know, it feels the same way. It's a just it, it's it's just unnatural, right? Hey, I mean, you don't see them anymore, do you? Chains well, or condoms? Condoms. Chains. Yeah. I had to put a few when I got <laughs> married up in up, when I got yes, married sir. up in Lake Tahoe. Uh, we got married, and the next day uh, uh, we went in to our uh, had our little you know honeymoon at this at uh, at a ho at the at a hotel up there. I think it was the Marriott, and uh, we got up the next morning, and it was it was bitching up a snowstorm, and we had to go back because I we had to make an airplane to get back here. So uh, I rented some chains, and they put them on at the hotel. And they, they had, I used chains back then, yeah. And this was 10 years ago. So I think they're still using chains in some parts of the country. Yeah, or, 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 or it, you know, this was a rental car. But if you don't have a rental car, you have your own personal car, and you put on uh, snow tires. Hold on. Know. He used chains on his honeymoon. Okay, I got it. Not called. Oh, oh don't, you're <laughs> quoting me tomorrow night. I just know that. Write that down. Uh, I just sold a pair, of, uh, a set of chains yesterday. Really? Yeah. 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 You don't ever need them down where you are. No, but I, I had an old set from a, a truck I had. I had them on eBay for about a year and a half, and they finally sold yesterday. That, wow. When they put them on these big semis, like uh, like like truckers, yeah, Steve, we have to, in semis. You have to carry them. Yeah, but man, how do you put those things on? They're or a pain it, in the ass. Slowly, it, slowly. It, it's they a never slowly. chain up. You know, when the roads are not bad, I park. Screw that. Yeah, you, I'm you, not you, up. iron sucks. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, because I, the thing is that I, all I can imagine is that um, uh, having to put those things on must be hellish. And what's amazing to me is that nobody's come out with some kind of an invention that would make it easy to put chains or some kind of device on the tires to get traction. Are, are chains effective? I wouldn't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. So far as I know, I mean, they oh, yeah. always work for me. The only trouble is you feel like you're... Like you're you're riding on chain mail. You know, you're hearing this noise constantly, this grinding. All the time. It's, it's horrible. Did so, they fuck up your tires? 
Oh sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you have Why not? if you have snow tires, they used to have snow tires. Mm -hmm. See now here, this is a see we're getting into a discussion, folks. That has nothing to do with politics. Okay. Um, uh, uh, they had something else, and I seem to vaguely remember this. And they had tires, snow tires, that were embedded with wood sawdust. So that as you use the tire, the sawdust would come off and give you traction. I heard that was an option on the Model T. <laughs> <laughs> Model T. <laughs> Did you ever hear about this, Alan? No. Did anybody no, no. hear about this? Sawdust? No. No, mm. no. okay. Because I think I almost bought a pair once. Yeah. Yeah. The, and I used to live in Wisconsin and Iowa and all of You live in those states and you know all about, you, you get to know all about this stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the other thing is, on Friday nights, all the guys used to go and play cards at somebody's house. Mm -hmm. And what we had to do, we, we drove in, mm -hmm. you know, each guy had their own car, they drove mm -hmm. in, and then you take the battery out of the car and mm -hmm. bring it in the house because wow. it could be 30 below yeah. out well, there. Well, I lived in Minneapolis, and you know how cold it gets. If it's going to get cold, the coldest place usually in um, uh, in the United States is north of Minneapolis, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how cold it gets in Minneapolis. And uh, I would, if there, I mean, I was only there for one winter. I don't know why I couldn't be there for one summer, but I was there for <laughs> one winter, and uh, I put on my chains, and I kept them on. I just didn't, I didn't even take them off, you know, because I knew if I took them off within a day or two, I'd have to put them back on again. And I don't know how to put chains on, so I used to have to call somebody to bring, you know, to get me my chains. You know it's cold when you take the battery into the house. That's it. Yeah. I, you know moly. it's cold. Batteries when, don't like cold, but boy... Auto batteries do not like cold, but if you got to take the battery in, that was cold. When, Everybody did that. Too. When I used to have to go out, when I, uh, I was working at the station, it was so cold. How cold was it? That I would go out during a commercial break a half hour before my show was over and turn the car on and warm mm -hmm. it up so that when I got into the car, it was just chilly. <laughs> you know? I mean, <laughs> but that's what I had to do. You know, Nowadays, you can do that by remote. Yes, you can. Yeah. But in those days, you had to do it by crank. So I, it was... By crank? I yeah, remember that. I yeah, used that to pull it like this. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a motorboat. Uh, this was... A, you had to crank. Yeah. You're, you're thinking of drugs again, Alex. Crank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I get it. Yeah. So anyway, I got that, had this backache last night. Still have it today. Not as really? bad as it was yesterday. But still, you know, I'm going. You got to change positions when you're masturbating that quick. You can pull your back <laughs> out. That's maybe what did it. Anyway, slow down. <laughs> uh, you know, I so, oh, I here's a story for you. Did you, you? How many here watch the Super Bowl? Raise your hands. Mm -hmm. I watched part of it, a little bit of it. Yeah. Enough to see this. How many saw the Bruce Springsteen ad yeah. for, for Jeep? Okay. Jeep has officially removed oh, Bruce Springsteen's Super Bowl spot, the middle, from TV and YouTube after word of the Rockers' DUI, DWI, yeah. bust last November 14th at the Gateway National Recreation Area on New Jersey's coast he was charged with reckless driving and consuming alcohol in a closed area. The rocker will make a virtual court appearance later this month. Mm. In place of the clip, the following message, video unavailable. This video is private. Uh, the commercial first ran on Sunday's Super Bowl, and they kept running it on you know, YouTube and so on. And um, they said, uh-oh. He drunk drives. We can't have him doing an ad for Jeep. So that was, was it in a Jeep? Huh? Was it in a Jeep that he got drunk? Who cares? I think that the Jeep in the ad was his favorite personal car. It was an old Jeep. Uh, and and I, but, I, I read that he was on a motorcycle. Oh, he's on a motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah, I read the when same thing. 
that well, he was that he was stopped for DUI on a motorcycle. In any event, because he's, he 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 got stuck for you know DUI or whatever, uh, that's not what you want out there, you know. And somebody probably brought that up and said, "Hey, he got caught for drunk driving," and they went, "Well, we we have to distance ourselves." Especially him, he's lived a pretty much scandal-free uh, lifetime, you know. You know, for a rock and roll guy. For a rock and roll guy, guy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it probably has a little bit of a drinking problem, you know. Uh, and uh, getting maybe, older, you know, getting older and seeing his uh, his popularity waning, you know. Mm-hmm. And he, a lot of free time and yeah i wonder who kevin is talking to i was just thinking the same thing it must be real important it would well, no it probably is probably is I, I, mother. But my mother calls during this thing and i tell her to call me back later i'm on a zoom meeting yeah oh you're on a zoom meeting you don't tell her you're just playing with a bunch of guys here talking about no, crap no no no, no. Talk gotta make it sound important yeah um, so, uh, let me see here. Also, they, they announced today, what, we're going to have like 200 million more doses? Enough to take everybody in the country and By July. Them. By July. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Although everybody won't get vaccinated. I mean, there's a reluctance. There's still a big reluctance out yeah. there. You know. There's, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of virology medical experts are coming on. And yeah. saying this is safe, uh, none of the side effects that people are thinking or the bad things are going to happen. Yeah. Well, happen. well you, you ask black people and they say, well, we remember Tuskegee. And then you say, what and was Tuskegee? And they say, friends, they say, I don't know. I don't remember. It was so long I, ago. Most of my friends black are friends are getting inoculated. I don't so. know. I don't know how you can use Tuskegee as an excuse at this point. I've never you know, I mean, Tuskegee is uh, is happened a long time ago, and uh, it has nothing to do with this. This is not any. They were experimenting on black people by taking them and giving them inoculations of various things, like syphilis. Right. I think they were inoculating them with syphilis, right. things like that. Right. So yeah. yeah, that was terrible. But this isn't that. We white people are getting the same shot you're gonna get. Okay. Uh, you can't use Tuskegee as an excuse. Get the goddamn shot if you can get it. I, but I, th- I think you're you're grouping all blacks, and that's just not true around here. I I, I mean I, I have. I'm only grouping black blacks. Prayer. I'm only grouping blacks because our governor has said that the black community seems to be adamantly against getting these shots. I mean that that uh, we're in the white community something like. I don't know, 89% have gotten their shots already who can get them. And in the black community, it's like 5% or 2%. And, and he is you know, scratching his head wondering why that's so. It even, even among, maybe, and maybe Charlie can answer this, even among uh, health professionals who should know better, okay, and know what the risks are and aren't, they're against it, you know. The one they have a list every day of the hospitals that are giving the most shots and so on to their to the people who work there, and there's a whole list of them. And then on the other side, they've got the ones who are at the bottom of the list have given away the least shots, and Harlem Hospital is always on it. Now you know, I mean, what, are are you close to the Bronx? I assume you are. Yeah, the Bronx is, and the Bronx is primarily. Uh, Black, black people, and right? it's it's one of the worst cases that we have in the in this right, area. Right. But Charlie, you know, I mean, I don't expect you to to be speaking for black people everywhere. But uh, you, do you have maybe. some idea why this reluctance? I mean, you can't use Tuskegee as an excuse because nobody even knows. Y- you know, well, it's not a rational excuse, but in some people's minds, it's an excuse. Mm. I mean, is it that maybe? They're just afraid of getting the shot. They don't want to have a needle stuck in their arm. You know, it's just they can't. They don't think they can trust the doctors. Really? So who can yeah. they trust? I mean, when they're sick, who can they trust? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I yeah. think get yourself a black doctor and then let him. Well, there are a you. lot of. I mean, you go to you right. go to any hospital here in Manhattan, and you're not going to have a problem finding a black doctor. You no. know? Yeah. Not here either. 
California, they're all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they're listening to Robert Kennedy Jr. too much or something. Yes. Yeah, he's gone wonky, hasn't he? He has, yeah. He's gone nuts. <laughs> yeah. What are some Whatever of... Happened? Uh, uh, yeah, but he said, I think, that the, the vaccinations are a bad idea. Right. Yeah, he's an anti-vaxxer. He doesn't believe in them. He thinks they cause uh, autism or something like that. Yeah. He's a little Any old kind of for autism, isn't he? And then you had that bitch. What was her name? Uh, the TV. Jenny, Jenny McCarthy. McCarthy. Jenny, Jenny McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah. Who yeah, yeah. has a show on Sirius XM called Don't Stick a Needle in My yeah. Arm. Uh, really? she's, she was an anti, big anti-vaxxer. I mean, I think yeah. she caused lives, you know. So one of the, yeah. Yeah, in the news, I just got a text, one of the three states that is the slowest at getting the vaccinations out is New Jersey. Robert uh, Robert was, you know, he's been talking about that. Yeah. And it just, I just saw a blurb on the news that said that New Mexico, New Jersey, and I lost the thing, Some somebody else in this country, are the slowest to getting it out, and they don't understand why. And you know what the fastest is? The best? Something like North Carolina or one of the southern states? Yeah, so, yeah population 400,000. So. No, but it was still, it was, a, it was, a, it was they, they've had a pretty good record on this. You know, yeah. so well, that's my, good. West Virginia had one of the best. West, West Virginia? Virginia? Yeah. 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 Uh, what the they, just put up, they just put up a sign that said meth this way and they yeah right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, I remember Jenny McCarthy uh, Jenny McCarthy starting this in 1987 I re specifically yeah. remember hearing her on the on some radio talk show with her anti-vax yeah 1987 and she has not let up since what, who was, well, was she I, a stand-up comic or what the hell was she? No, she was a Playboy she playmate. Oh. Yeah, and then she was an MTV personality, big time. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. When I need medical advice, I look to Jenny McCarthy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, you know, I, I look, I say, who is the playmate of the month this month? And then that's I right. give her a call and I get information yeah. about my medical condition. My back's been killing me. Yeah, my back's been killing back me. What do I do about it? And go five seconds and you're good. Hmm. So anyway, so know. they really are having problems in New Jersey. Mehmet Oz. Yeah. Did you talk to him? Mehmet Oz. Yeah. What about him? Did you ever talk to him? When he well, he was, he had a show for a while at Sirius right. on the Oprah Channel. Oh, no, 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 not on. The, was it on the Oprah Channel? No. What, what channel did we have? <laughs> we had, uh, what's her name? The the woman who cooks. Uh, uh, you know, got busted. Martha Stewart. No, Martha Stewart. I think he was on the Martha Stewart channel, and he was uh, there, and uh, was not a not a pleasant human being. I <laughs> mean, not a pleasant oh. human being. Uh, I didn't like the guy. Who does? You know, I mean, I here's what I my feeling is. There are a couple of feelings that I have. Number one, these guys who go on on radio or television who have a specialty, like they're a doctor or they're a lawyer, and they do shows about medicine and, you know, giving you medical advice on the radio. Like, it's a great place to give you medical advice <laughs> and, and, you know, and legal advice on the radio. And I'm thinking, if these guys are so good at what they do, like Dr. Phil, if he was that good a psychologist, wouldn't he just be doing psychology? No, he makes a lot more money doing he it on television. More money doing, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, more. you know, and also, I mean, I want to, I want to see the, uh, I want to see his, uh, uh, what do you call it, his uh, credentials, credentials. Yeah, it, like I he's remember not even some a psychologist, huh? He's something. He has a, a PhD in something else other than psychology. Oh, really? He? Is it something else? I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think it has anything to do with psychology. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to look it up, but I, I'm pretty sure that's not he doesn't. I think he's probably right. a history teacher. Who who well, was a TV show? Who was it that was like an ear doctor and he was giving out advice on cancer and stuff like that? I can't remember mm. now. But I mean, it, here's the other thing that I always wonder about doctors: you you have their degree up on the wall, which is really nice. I mean, it's very nice to have a degree up on the wall because you can see that they graduated. But there's no grade point average there. <laughs> and, and quite frankly, I don't know, but, you know, you can get yourself 
a medical degree getting straight C's. And yeah. you can even yeah. flunk a couple of courses. So I wanted to say average C flunked blah, 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 you know, tumors, flunked the prostate, you know, fl right? There are two things about that. Number one, the, uh, Notre Dame used to have a coach, football mm -hmm. coach named Lou Holtz, and he yeah. once said, if I lose one game a year, they call me an idiot. The guy who graduated last in medical school, they call him doctor. <laughs> exactly. And the other thing that always cracks me up was George Carlin used to do a bit where he says, it stands to reason that somewhere in America is the worst doctor in the country. And somebody's got an appointment with him at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have so, to say, I was, I, I was wrong about Dr. Phil. He, do, he does have, yeah, he is a psychologist. I just looked it up. Yep, yeah. according to Wikipedia, he's got a, yeah. a PhD. A PhD? In clinical psychology. Well, no, a PhD is not necessarily psychology. The PhD is a doctor. It's a, uh, yeah, it could be, he is a doctorate in clinical psychology. What he doesn't have is a TV show anymore, right? No, he has a TV show. He okay. does. Oh, yeah. He, He's got a doctorate in clinical psychology. There are people who still have TV shows that you say, he still has a TV show? Uh, Dr. Oz well, is a good example. Yeah. Dr. Oz is a good example of that. How about, who's that, uh, who's that chef, that female chef? It's Rachel, Rachel, Ray. Rachel, Ray. Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray. I thought Oprah fired her years ago. Apparently, yeah. she just kept staying on the air, and she's been on for like 20 years now. And you go, yep. she's still on? She's got a big rack. No, she's got a big everything. Have you seen rack her lately? Land. Yeah, she's gained a little weight lately. Yeah, gained a little weight? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. about Maury Povich? Let's start some drink? jokes here, some old classic jokes. She's so fat, she's got her own zip code. Thank but you. She's so hey. fat that when she sits around the house, she sits around the house. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. She's so fat that when she wears a red, white, and blue dress and stands on a street corner, people shove mail in her mouth. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> wow. My wife, she's so fat. How she fat? get on top. My ears popped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so skinny, she swallowed an olive and four guys left town. Well, I often said that <laughs> I, I used to have this bit I did about the uh, the, 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 the guy who, who t tells jokes and just ruins them all the time. Like, uh, uh, my wife's so fat. Come on. How fat is she? So fat that the doctor said if she doesn't lose weight, she may die. Yeah. Well, and, 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 <laughs> this yeah. is my bummer jokes, you know. That's yeah. Good. Um, but yeah. what's the difference between a lesbian and a whale? A flannel shirt. Oh, <laughs> now wait a Whoa. minute. Wait a minute. Hold Whoa. on. Is Hold on. As a guy, oh, wait a minute. Alex has got a flannel shirt as a, on. As a, as a guy who finds some <laughs> lesbians very hot, I have to disagree with you. Yeah, yeah the ones that the look dyke. like a whale, the dyke ones. I had a I had a woman who was our um, my newswoman, and she came out and said she was a lesbian. Okay. Um, now she says she isn't, but she was then. Okay. So uh, she had a girlfriend. She and she came by and started introducing us to her girlfriend. Every guy who met this woman was salivating. <laughs> she was so goddamn hot you couldn't believe it. Yeah. Okay. And, and, you know, my newswoman was kind of, I think she was playing around with it, okay? You know, women can do that and get away with it and then later on go, well, that was a, that was, that was a little growth spurt I had or something like that. If a guy even touches a dick, he's gay, you know, yeah. he's a homo. So anyway, <laughs> well, I, uh, she, uh, she, so she was kind of, it was a dalliance, okay? Uh, but this woman. It wasn't a dalliance. This woman was stone cold lesbian. But there are two kinds of lesbians. There are yep. the butch, and there's the fe the uh, what do we call them? The fem? The lipstick lipstick lesbian. lesbian. Lipstick, you know. Man, pictures and catchers. She well, no, she used a lot of lipstick. I'll tell you, she was hot. You know, so. isn't isn't she what made you decide to become a lesbian, Alex? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yes. You'd be, yeah, that's what I thought you used to say. I, I thought she told you that because you, she got tired of you chasing her around the newsroom. No, I never chased her around the newsroom. In fact, we had such a great relationship. <laughs> with them, and I never would ever think about anybody I worked with sexually. I never picked up on any woman I work with that way. I mean, who worked for me directly. I've been in radio stations where they work for somebody else, and, hey, let's get together, and blah, blah, blah. But uh, not somebody who worked for me, and and as a newswoman, I consider that working for me. So I, we went to Spain together, and to save money on a hotel room, slept in the same bed, wow. and nothing happened. Oh boy! No, nothing oh, happened. I think I know who this is. What you know who it is? Of course. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I won't yeah. say it, but uh, Lori. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I didn't want to say. Yeah. yeah. Oprah Winfrey. It was Oprah Winfrey. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I what love Lori. Happened to her? <laughs> yeah, Lori was ter terrific. Great, uh, great. Uh, Oprah Winfrey actually owns the TV show, Dr. Phil. Yeah, well, no, she, I, she may not anymore. Does she still have her credit at the end? <clears throat> what it says on uh, You know, she had Rachel Ray. She had Dr. Oz. She had Dr. Phil. And I think. She got rid of Oz, and I think she got, she, I know she got rid of Rachel Ray. She got out of the Rachel Ray business a long time ago, you know. Yeah. Let's uh, see what Wikipedia says here. Oh, Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, what did I ask Wikipedia today? I can't remember now. Oh, well. I had, I had some kind of, I don't know, medical question, and it answered me. It told me. Sometimes oh, no, I know. I wanted to know how, how many... Uh, how many minutes you should cook a steak per inch to get medium rare? And Alexa told me. Isn't that good? Huh? That That's great. It depends on how thick the steak is, too. Well, what I came up with, I then went online in total, I came up with seven minutes aside for this steak because it was two inches. Mm. Which... Uh, I, to I told you last night about how fast I come. One of the reasons is two inches. So it, it's, uh, you know. You were talking about okay. the tube steak and not the... I was everyone. talking about the tube steak, yeah. No, but anyway, you know, it's it's uh, about seven minutes per inch, and you get a nice medium rare, and that's exactly what I got tonight. It was fine. It was Robert's fine. writing. Be careful. No. 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 I can answering, I, answering a text. And answering a text. What? How do you do? You answer a text by actually typing into the thing. Because yeah, I just I, talk in. I dictate. How many here dictate? Yeah. I do both. It's it's so much easier. I don't want my my fat little fingers on that little screen. You know, I always get it wrong. The only time I might type it is if I'm on my iPad and there's almost a, a normal natural keyboard there. Uh, but uh, uh, I I I pretty. But here's the problem: Marjorie has learned to do it too. But her problem is she starts saying stuff and she starts dictating texts and then she keeps going um uh uh. Um, <laughs> and it all comes out. Um, uh, um, you know, I said, you don't, oh, wow. you gotta know how to just talk straight ahead, go period. And then, you know, I've gotten very good with it, with you doing it that way. Yeah. So anyway, um, so, uh, 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 have you gotten a, a, a appointment yet, Robert, for your, uh, for COVID no. job? No. My poor wife who goes to sleep pretty early at night has mm -hmm. been waking up right before the stroke of midnight every night for the past several because new appointment uh slots open up at midnight mm -hmm. and you have to try your best to jump in not mm -hmm. for her but for me because she's not 65 yet and i'm 70 so i should be like right up there right no dice. Mm -hmm. yes hey, robert where, where are you you're near here are you right yeah he's, in, he's near you he's in uh, new jersey Oh, I thought you were in California. Sorry. Oh. No, you're thinking that. Well, He's near me. Okay. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it. Never mind. And if if there were in COVID out there, I'd ask say to him, "Come on into Manhattan. Let's have dinner some night." I'd be there. But yeah. you can't do that. You just nope. can't do that these days. You nope. know, uh, especially because you're from New Jersey. I don't want your cooties. Yeah, get you know? on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
G Ray swapping tongues with the dog on the show. Yeah. So we saw that. I thought Brian. Knew, I thought Brian. Neary, he knows I hate it though, so she doesn't contact. No I, contact. I thought Brian Neary was here tonight, but he's not, is he? No. Nope. So, no. Nope. You know, I usually just assume he's there, and all of a sudden, I'm just looking. Where's Brian? And I'm going. Thursday nights he doesn't show up sometimes. Really? Yeah. I don't know yeah. why, but it's just been on Thursdays. Now that's your oh. dog, okay? What's that dog's name? Foxy. 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 Yeah. Foxy. Oh yeah, looks foxy. Foxy lady. Oh, foxy lady. Okay. Yeah. And no, uh, let foxy. me see here. Uh, can you show a uh, truck or Steve? Can you hold up uh, Rocky? Or is Rocky asleep? Would we be bothering Rocky? Maybe uh, we could do some matchmaking here. Y we could. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> Rocky is a boy, right? Wouldn't they have oh, Wouldn't they have great looking puppies together? Oh yeah. 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 Black and white. Rocky, like is a, Rocky is a sheep who is a sheep who. Uh, uh, why did you? Uh, so it's a her. I don't know. It's a, he's a boy. Oh, he's a boy. What? What, what do you mean by sheep yeah, who? He's a sheep who. What's a sheep who? That's a brand of dog. <laughs> Shih Tzu Poodle. Oh, Shih Tzu Poodle. Mix Shih Tzu Poodle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Shih Tzu okay. Poodle. This is you, a Labradoodle, which is Labrador and Poodle. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, so uh, anybody else have any pets there immediately that you can? Okay. Not that I can grab. Yeah. Do you have cat? Do you have an animal, Robert? Actually, I'm babysitting my my son has been in China for years. So I've been babysitting his dog. And why is your son in China for a year? Because he can't get back into the country? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Got a cop I mean, part of his business is there, so it's not as if he's hurting. But mm -hmm. um, getting back is tough for him for a, a myriad of reasons. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so you're taking care of his animal. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and how what type how about you, Kev? Do you have any pets, Kevin? Yeah, I had two cats until about a month ago. One's dead, and the other one's still there. Oh, you said, well, I had two. Yeah. And then you said, well, I guess because one's dead, you still have one. I still have one, yeah. Yeah. Riley B. King died. Yeah. And uh, Teddy is still here. Teddy's still there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, um, um, does Teddy miss the other cat? Yeah, he missed beating the shit out of him. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes that... And he was the younger one. Well, I was, men I was mentioning to Marjorie that it really is kind of amazing that, in fact, uh, you know, we always, in cartoons, who who's the natural enemy of the cat? The dog, uh -huh. right? The dog, And yeah. yet the fact of the matter is that uh, dogs... And cats usually get along okay, you know. Yep, they do. So uh, uh, it's it's kind of amazing, you know. So anyway, I had a dog once and a cat, and the we we had the dog and we got the kitten, and mm -hmm. the the dog raised the kitten like it was its own little puppy. Yeah. And um, the kitten followed it around, slept. They slept together yeah. on the dog. Yeah. The yeah. Kitten they hang acted up. like a dog. <clears throat> And then, but once it once the cat got to about a year and a half, it got rid of all its dog traits and wow. it was all cat. Mm -hmm. But it acted dog like for a long time. Acted dog like. Wow. Yeah, it was really amazing. Kumbaya. Yeah. So the cat would bark in the middle of the night, or yeah, it'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, we all you know lift his leg. The yesterday we we lost uh, Larry Flint, um, yeah. my old boss at Hustler. Uh, mm -hmm. But um, we also, the day before, lost uh, a woman who I considered one of the hottest women I've ever had the opportunity to have in a studio with me, Mary Wilson mm -hmm. of the Supremes. Yeah. She was hot, yeah. you know, and sweet and nice and good and great to talk to and so on, you know. I only did only talk to her once but it was enough for me to realize that i was talking to i was talking to the best supreme okay because i heard that diana ross was a real handful you know so 
Anyway, so we lost two people. They go in now. They go in three. So who's next? Oh, yeah. No, they. Don't. No, oh, they did don't. you hear? Did you hear about Trump? By the way, about his COVID. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That it was a little more serious than we were led to believe. What about it? He was in the eighties. He was what? Oxygen went down to the eighties, and they were getting ready to put him on the on the machine. Oxygen. Remember, there was a rumor about that, but it got squashed. Yeah, and that that doctor was lying through. Yeah, his- there was a rumor that he was worse. He was yeah, lying the through his came out. Yep. Yeah. They said they said that that uh, he was very close to being intubated. Oh God! If there's a God, why didn't we intubate him? Yeah. Well, right. you know, I mean, that you know, uh, and the fact that it's amazing he he came back. I mean, he was he didn't seem well when he got back. I mean, he was up there no. huffing and puffing up on the up on that balcony. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knew he was he was. He was about, you know, ready to keel over when he got up on there and did his Hitler stance when he got up the top of the, the yeah. stairs there. But somehow was, I guess he had enough time to recover, and he recovered from it because they pumped <clears throat> all that stuff into him. They put that res, res metal. Yeah. But, the but who knows, Remdesivir, but Remdesivir, who, knows, yeah. who knows how much problems it actually gave him. And they said uh, Melania was just as bad. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, didn't they? Yeah. He was just as fucked up, and they were hiding her, too. Wow. I know, I'm she disappeared I had for the weeks. Best COVID. Huh? What'd you say? Yeah. I'm here, and I had the best case of COVID. It was beautiful. Yeah. 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 No, I but I mean. 20, 20 years younger. Hey, it's no problem. I got over it. He gave it that kind of thing about, you know, don't worry yeah. about it. Look how, how easy I got over it. Yeah. And the fact is he almost died from it. Uh, on a, and it would have been of his own stupidity. I mean, you know, that whole God rose guy. missed God missed a chance. Well, Damn. and on top of that, if he did have it mm-hmm. and the whole bit, and he, he rode around in the limo with those guys. Yeah. With the Secret yeah. Service. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah. Secret Service got hit with a lot of COVID cases. Yes. A lot of them got yeah, COVID. But yeah. And, the, and these, were the, these were the these were the guys who were the, uh, these were the, the guys the, these... during the riots that a bunch of those uh, National Guards, two hundred of them came yeah. out, came up positive. Well, these were the guys who were close to him, weren't they? Some of them who got yeah. the COVID. No, I'm talking yeah. about the riots. I'm kind of drifted off to another well, side. Oh, okay. I, I, I saw in the news where they were all sleeping on the floor without a mask in the in yeah. The, you know, before the riots. Yeah, it could be, but yeah, that was terrible. I couldn't believe that. What sleeping on the floor like inches apart like that? Were these? Yeah. You mean the National Guard guys who yeah. were sleeping yeah. on the floor? Yeah. Days and days. Yeah. Although I kept saying, how cool is that to be able to sleep in the Capitol under the dome? I would have liked to have had a mask, like <laughs> sleeping at the museum. Yeah. 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 Well, let's see here. Here's our theme. There it is. Boy, this show's been looking good tonight. I'm looking at it. We finally, I finally got this thing so it's playing in something like 4K. So, uh, yeah, it's using up every, it's using up a lot of my resources here, but I don't care because it works just fine. Thank you. Anyway, hey, uh, Robert, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Hope we see you again tomorrow night with minutes. I quit. I quit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you oh, quit. Five seconds of them. Well, no, no, I fired you, okay? Well, I fired you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, 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 Alan. Uh, nice to have you here this evening once again. Charlie, always nice. Jeff, always great. Kevin, anytime you show up, it's a party. Uh, and uh, John Larkin, thank you. And Ray Renati, thank you. And, of course, out there, where are you right now, Trucker Steve? British Columbia, British? Uh, mm-hmm. about an hour and a half uh, east of Vancouver. And are you on your way home? You, uh, no, I'm going into yeah. uh, Vancouver tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, and there's a new citizen panel being uh, assembled even as we speak over there at uh, uh, the intersection with Jack Bishop, which is up next. I'll see you again tomorrow night, last show of the week. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. Wear a mask. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.